as soon as he takes off his mask. His face was very strange. He says that if anyone can save your people, it is only me. So listen to me. The film begins by showing a hotel in Moscow, where a boy Oleg was talking to his new friend. While praising himself, he was telling her that I am an army officer. I have a lot of money. Hearing this, his friend becomes very impressed. They spend some more time and decide to get married soon. Anyway, at one place, a plane is about to take off. Then suddenly its engine stops working. All the lights were off, after which the plane directly falls on the ground. Here it is found that not only this plane, but also the situation of the whole world has suddenly deteriorated. All the electrical appliances have stopped working. All the lights slowly turn off, and the whole world turns blackout. It means that darkness has spread by the absence of light. But there were still some places in the whole world where electricity was present, one of which was Moscow City. In the news on TV in Moscow, it was informed that our contact has been cut off from the whole world. No one knew how the situation outside the city was, and neither did the outsiders know that there was electricity in their city. Oleg was also watching this news. He thinks that maybe this is a terrorist attack. Anyway, now where there was no light, all those places are called blackout areas, and the places where there were lights are called light areas. Moscow's government, in order to check the situation of the blackout area, sends a lot of drone cameras there. But on the way, all the drones disappear in a strange way. When the soldiers reach there, they are stunned to see the situation there. Actually, when the blackout happened, all the living things in the world, such as dogs, cats, fish, even humans, were killed in a very strange way. The corpses were scattered everywhere. It seemed as if this whole place had become a graveyard in a moment. Soldiers were just investigating, and that's when a stranger attacks a soldier after injuring him badly. He takes his weapon and runs away from there at great speed. Everyone shoots at him, but he wasn't much affected. Not a single bullet hit him. He was just running away. Seeing this, all the soldiers were quite surprised. They guessed that this man does not seem to be an ordinary person. And if he is really not an ordinary person, then it is a matter of great danger. And now a month has passed. No one knows about the situation. How did this happen? Now, we see a boy who is Oleg's friend. He was also a soldier. He used to live with his old mother, and her condition was not good. But as soon as he gets a letter from the army to come back, he leaves for the mission with a heavy heart. Then the captain gathers all the soldiers and tells them that the corpses we got from the blackout area, we sent them all to the lab to test. According to the report, all of them died due to poison. The poison was not given to them, but their bodies made it themselves. They did not do this on their own, but some strange thing forced their bodies to do this. And now as night falls, the soldier's team starts leaving for the blackout area. Oleg was also among them who sees that my new friend, with whom he was going to get married, was also going because she was a doctor. When they reached there, they were talking to each other. That's when the emergency alarm begins to ring. All the soldiers quickly, according to their positions, stand up by pointing their guns at the fence. The captain tells them that the animals from the fence are moving toward them quickly. All are the same kind of animals whose size is quite big, and in the next moment, that animal attacked the soldiers, and attacked them badly. The soldiers also start firing bullets in their defense. The next morning, very bad conditions are seen, because a lot of soldiers were killed. They see that the attacking animals were wild bears, but they did not understand why the bears attacked them in pack because they never do this. Oleg was also injured in the attack. His friend was a doctor who was treating him. Now a boy was admitted to a hospital in the city. He was lying on the bed, and his health started deteriorating suddenly. Actually, since the blackout, strange things were happening to him. He hears the same unknown people's voices. A bald man always harassed him. As soon as the blackout happened, this boy had superpowers. He had different powers, and as soon as his eyes opened, he finds a boy in front of him. The boy was telling him that I am your friend. I have come to give you important information. Actually, the situation that has happened all over the world is due to the attack of strange waves. These are three types of waves. In the first wave, all the things that run on electricity were damaged. In the second wave, all the dangerous things were destroyed. And in the third wave, the most destruction will happen. Because in this, these dangerous waves will use the people here as puppets. By taking them in their control, they will make them a 
attacked their people, which meant that people were still alive in the blackout area. Now that sick boy did not understand him. On the contrary, when he was worried, he calls the guard so that he takes the boy out of there. But when the guard comes inside, they do not see anyone there because he was talking to him in his mind, physically. He was not even present in the room. Due to all these circumstances and not being in their control, the people of the light area come out on the roads. They were breaking everywhere and causing destruction. They even started attacking the soldiers because they felt that it was all government's trick. There are different groups of soldiers in the army camp. One group was of Oleg and the other was of his friend. The situation in the blackout area was very bad. Everything was destroyed. The bridge was badly damaged because the plane fell on the bridge after being destroyed. Many buildings were also destroyed. The first sent army helicopter, tanks and vehicles were scattered like toys. Oleg's friend reaches a town with his friends. A reporter also came with them. All the soldiers of the team were inspecting their area. A few days pass like this, but neither they see any human nor their corpses. When the boy of the superpowers was sitting in a place, a man came to meet him, whose name was ID. He had hidden his face before, but as soon as he removed his clothes, his face was very strange. The rest of the body was like a human. He tells that I am not a human, but an alien looking like a human. Someone is using your superpowers and doing all this in the whole world and I am looking for the same person, and that man is that villain, no one else, but my brother, an alien like me, and when the blackout happened, you were stuck between the blackout area, and the light area, this is the reason that today these powers are with you, before the boy could understand anything, the captain and her soldiers come there, and put a gun on the ID, but the clever ID had controlled the minds of the captain's soldiers, so that the soldiers started seeing the captain as ID, An ID was starting to look like the captain, that is, they begin to look different by changing their forms, which means that all the soldiers put a gun on the real captain, ID tells the captain that if anyone can save your people, then it is only me, so listen to me quietly, which I want to tell you. Listening to this, the captain also takes him to the inquiry room. ID tells her that you people live on your planet. We also live on our planet, and we have one quality. Even after many years, we do not get old and do not die until someone kills us. Soon our planet's sun is going to be destroyed. So now we are looking for a new planet. And because your planet was chosen, so I and my brother were sent here, so that we could prepare the ground well to bring our other people here. The biggest thing is that all the old things on the ground, such as pyramids, were made by us aliens two lakh years ago. And yes, I am good, my brother is evil. He wants to kill you all, but I don't want him to do this. I want to stop him. In the next 48 hours, our very big spaceship is going to come to Earth. And before that, my brother will use the people of the blackout area as puppets. So to kill these people, that is, what that boy said about the third wave was true, and that wave was made by the brother of ID. The captain keeps listening to all these things, but she does not believe it. On the other hand, the team of Oleg's friend sees an injured child in his area, who was behaving very strangely, angrily. These people help him, start answering questions, to get information. But then the child stabs a soldier in the neck and kills him very very badly, and when he was very angry, he was out of control, seeing which Oleg's friend had to shoot the child. Seeing this, the reporter was very scared. Now, as soon as it was night, all the puppets of the blackout area, who were following ID's brother's instructions, they attack all the teams of soldiers. The soldiers also shoot at them in their defense. A continuous attack was taking place from the side of the puppets. A war breaks out on both sides. Many people of Oleg's friends were killed. He fires his gun towards the army camp for help. Apart from that, two more groups of the soldiers have fired the flare guns, which made the poor army camp people worried. That now whose help should we go to? As the captain is told about all these situations, she is convinced that ID is telling the truth because his words were proving to be true. The captain had no other way, so she agrees to take the help of ID. ID tells the captain that we will need the powerful boy to find my brother. As soon as I kill my brother, I will control all the people's puppets and stop them. The captain takes ID and reaches the army base. There was a big attack on the team of Oleg's friend, in which all the soldiers are killed one by one. Only two people survive, Oleg's friend and reporter. The number of puppets was quite high, so they try to go to the rest of them, so that they can face them together. ID tells the powerful boy to pay attention. He was helping him so see the visons, that the boy can see where ID's brother is. After a while, his location is found. 
which was the roof of a very big building, and from there he was controlling all the puppets and getting everything done. They were leaving, then they find out that the puppets have also attacked the light area, which means that the effect of the third wave has started. So the captain, without wasting the time, started leaving with ID. The powerful boy tells ID that your brother has seen me. He will kill me, so please take me with you. ID replies that no, you are safe here in the base. Your life is in danger there. Stay here. After saying this, he leaves with the captain. Those people had just come a little far from the base. ID's brother finds out the location of the powerful boy, which means that he is in the army base at this time. To kill him, he sends a lot of missiles. The soldiers of the base try to stop the missile, but it is of no use because they were too many in numbers. And in front of the captain's eyes, her entire army base is destroyed. But unfortunately, all the soldiers, the powerful boy, and all die. Seeing this, the captain was quite angry and sad. She points her gun at ID and says isn't you know this all, then why you did this cheap act by leaving the boy there? ID says that only a few people are there who can save humanity, and my brother already knows the location of the powerful boy. If we kept him with us, we would have died now. That's why I had to take this step. The next day, Oleg finds his friend and the reporter. They feel quite happy seeing each other alive and hug each other. Later, the captain also joins them with her soldiers. Now, without wasting the time, they all leave for that building, where ID's brother was controlling all the puppets. On the way, these puppets try to stop their way, without caring about their lives. The soldiers were, moving ahead after crushing them from the tanks. They also attack them, and a huge war breaks out between them. Some puppets were falling on the soldiers after fastening the bombs on them, so they can explode them with themselves, with great difficulty, and escaping from them. The soldiers reach the building. ID begins to go to the top of the building with some soldiers, while many soldiers stayed below to fight with the puppets. Then, Oleg's friend and ID finally come in front of ID's brother. Oleg's friend moves forward to attack ID's brother. He throws him far away in a single attack. Later, ID goes to encounter his brother. A fight starts between both brothers. Both were not less, they were bigger than each other. They were fighting equally. By punching, sparks were coming out of their hands. Both are very powerful. Below, Oleg and the other soldiers were having a lot of trouble stopping the puppet because their number was in the crores. They were not even ending. The puppets were so clever that they attacked them with oil-filled truck, which caused a big blast. Except for a few of, now all these soldiers are killed. With difficulty, only five were left, and now they had to face the puppets. Oleg and the other soldiers now begin to go upstairs. Puppets, in order to join their leader, ID's brother, were coming towards the building. Before the puppets come, ID punches his brother hard. He takes out the heart of his bother, which was obviously like a device because of being an alien. He fixes a bomb in his heart. As his heart explodes, his brother died. After killing his brothers, ID gained control of all the puppets. In a single attack, he kills them all. All the survivors have now won the war, but they were not happy because there were few of them who were left alive, whereas crores of innocent people were killed on the roads, like insects. This was a terrible scene of the world. ID tells everyone that there is no love and mercy in humans. How selfish you are, you only think about yourself. This was the reason my brother wanted to kill you, so aliens could live here peacefully. But my purpose was different. Here he revelas the biggest secret. I wanted to help humans, so that humans would consider me their healer, so much so that they started considering me their god. Then the boy angrily tells ID that you already knew everything. Then why didn't you stop the blackout? ID replies that if I had stopped it, then no one would have been afraid of death in anyone's heart. No one would have believed me, and anyway, you are enough to increase the population. I am everyone's healer, God. Even if the rest of the people die, I don't care. Which meant that he is not good either. From the beginning till now, he has only been looking for his own benefit. Hearing this, everyone started getting very angry. Oleg's friends points a gun at him. Then Oleg's other friend tells her to put the gun down. Millions like him are coming. If you kill him, how will you stop the rest? It is very important for him to stay alive. They were talking and a boy attacked ID with a knife. But ID knew this. He controlled the boy's mind, with which he stabbed the captain instead of ID. And in this way, she was also killed. Because here too, he had done his form-changing magic. Oleg got very angry. As soon as he moves forward to kill ID, his friend stops him to do this. 
both had an argument, which goes on to fight, and Oleg's friend would have killed him. Then the reporter takes the gun and shouts at Oleg's friend and injures him. Now to make Oleg's mind bad, ID changes himself into many forms of his dad. But the boy knew what the real form of ID was. He jumps from the building with his real form. And in this way, along with him, ID also dies. And now these four people were left alive, who will compete with the coming aliens. In a short while, the alien spaceship comes here which was very big, and the door of the ship opens, but no one comes from inside, so now these people go inside. When they go inside, they see millions of chambers of aliens, in which all the aliens were sleeping, and then suddenly the light started turning on in all the chambers, and a strange kind of liquid starts moving, due to which the aliens start coming to their senses. The doctor says that this liquid is definitely their oxygen. That's why before they wake up, Oleg starts killing everyone with a bullet, but they had little time and no bullets. So by using the brain, they break the oxygen main pipe with a hammer, which happens that all the aliens are killed before they wake up. Now only a few chambers were left, in which they see the innocent children of the aliens. This reminds them of ID that there is no love and mercy in humans, and because they did not want to become such humans, so they do not do anything to the children of the aliens. They leave them. In a while, all the children of the aliens come out of their own chambers, which all looked like ID, their kids, so there was no danger now. And with this, the movie ends here.